Well, first of all, you have to understand um, that the multi-sectoral approach um, is not an overnight fix. Um, and I will repeat that as often as I need to, because we have a very serious issue in our country, a very serious problem with 29 gangs in Belize City alone. That won't fix overnight. And so uh, criminals who are hell-bent on continuing with their life of crime, we will come down hard on them. That has not changed. Uh, what has changed is getting more departments, the uh, Department of uh, Youth Services involved, getting the Ministry of Education involved to realize that we have a long-term uh, program that we're putting in place to actually stem the tide. That is what we're putting in place. And so between October and now, it is not expected that you're going to see that kind of result uh, in the multi-sectoral approach. Um, and so it has to go in tandem, hand in hand, with very tough policing on those criminals who are hell-bent hell on wreaking havoc. States of emergencies, as you know, it's a, it's a band-aid fix for, for an issue, um, and we have certainly not ruled out states of emergencies. Um, it's not necessarily our go-to formula moving forward. We do believe in a long-term fix for the crime problem uh, in our country. But um, if it gets to a point where uh, we are seeing that the, the murders are happening um, and retaliation is happening too regular, we will have to implement the state of emergency again.